Hello friends, and welcome. Alright friends, so today I'm having this. So this is actually the Bow Candy Big Box. I mean, it's, it's pretty big. It's not too exciting, but it's not the outside that counts, it's the inside. So let's open it. I'm excited. It says it's from around the world too. I got my pink scissors. Let's do this. Okay, I got the cake. Okay, I got the tape cut. Let's open it. Okay, you ready for magic? Magic in three, two, one. You see magic. Is it the true embodiment of amazing? Oh! Okay, so now I can already tell. This isn't by the same company that made that Japan crate I opened. That, that video is right here. How there was just a bunch of little stuff, like individually packaged. Look at this. Oh, man. Where do I even start? Okay, to start off, we got these things. I, I have no idea what it is. It says Harbio Wiener Land. No, Wienland. Yay? Okay, let's open them up. To I'm just gonna pull one out. A H R on it. I feel like I'm not getting something about these. Okay, let's eat it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try to describe that the best I can. Hey guys, Future 7 here, basically. Just tasted like gummy bear, just saying. It's really interesting. I'm not sure if I like gummy bears or those better. All right, I rate this candy a seven. All right, let's go to the next thing. Let's see. I have no idea what this is. Vosna fruit. I'm not sure. Okay, either way, it looks wonderful, so let's open it. Okay, so there's a bunch of different flavors. There's like strawberry, lemon, and whatever that pink berry is. Little candy wrapper looks like this. Got a lemon on it, of course. Okay, let's try. Uh, oh my goodness. It's beautiful. It's like a Starburst. You know how Starburst always advertise that they're really juicy? They're nothing compared to this. This is like, my whole mouth is just an oasis of good flavors. It kind of tastes like Pez. All right, well, I guess I'll say I rate this candy an eight. <laughs> All right, up next, we have the candy from the Animal Kingdom. Okay, look at, look at that giraffe on there, seriously. She's so weird looking. Okay, let's open it. No, I dropped it again! Look at this, look at this. Oh no, bro! Ah! <clears throat> this is how the chocolate looks. So I'm just gonna eat one little, one little chunk off of it. Okay, a little square, let's do it. Oh, okay. Okay, so my best description for this chocolate. It was just extra milky milk chocolate. My favorite thing about it was the funny animals on it though. It's gonna have to be an eight. It's extremely good. By the way, anyone who thinks I'm just wasting the candy, I'm not. I'm taping it back closed, just so you know. Alrighty, up next, we have whatever the heckins this is. Oh, look at that, that looks wonderful. Tortica. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna open this because I don't feel like I can't open package. Okay, this is how it looks. It looks like a cake, like a cracker cake kind of thing. I'm just gonna take a big old bite out of it. Okay, you know what, I gotta put this eye. Okay, the best way that I can describe this is It's like an extra thin wafer candy covered and layered with dark chocolate. This is going to have to be a nine. It's that good. All right, I don't know if anything can beat that, but up next we have Prestige Cake Bar Milk Cream. So I'm gonna open her up and see what type of wonder is in here. Oh yeah, okay, look at that. Doesn't that look good? All right, now I'm gonna take a bite of it. Let's see. Oh my goodness. 
So it tastes like... It tasted like a moon pie, but without being stale or artificial. That's my best description. This is that true moon pie. I'm gonna go with an 8.5. Might have. All's right, so up next we have... The big bar. It's the... I thought they said Milkita for a second. Milkita! <laughs> Milkita, the milkshake candy. Milka! Yay! All right, Milka is the next thing. So, I'm going to open her up. Okay, so that's how a little bar looks. It says Milka on it. All right, I'm just going to take out the ugly piece that I squished getting it out. Okay. Hazelnut. All right, so for this one, I'm going to say... It tastes like if you made Nutella into a chocolate bar, and then you made Nutella not taste awful. Alright, so I'm gonna rate this one a 7. I'll be right back. We're gonna go put this in the freezer. Alright, and the next thing in the box. Okay, this thing. So, it says... Banaco. Banaco Original has a monkey on it and there's also a banana on it so I'm hoping it has something to do with bananas because I love bananas by the way please sponsor me because I will unbox anything you send me oh my goodness it's a chocolate covered banana I think it's like a dried chocolate covered banana okay let's eat it oh what is it ah you, my boy, are confusing. It tastes like amazing, first of all. But I think what it actually is, is a banana smoothie put into a mold, then freeze dried, and then covered in chocolate. What's the Mr. Krabs in it? I can't figure it out. I don't even know. How about, um, I'm gonna say a nine, just for confusing me this much, and because it's basically the most interesting and different candy I've ever had ever. Alrighty, next up we have... Okay, so in the bottom of the thing, there that's not all the big stuff yet. Don't don't worry, don't worry, don't please don't leave please don't leave. So in the bottom there's a lot of little candies, like ten of these. Alright, so I'm going to open her up. I have no idea what it is at all. Oh okay it smells like one of those little fudge thingies, hopefully. Good. Uh, uh, I dare plastic around it. This little thing tasted like it tasted like if you took a piece of fudge and then squish it down really tiny. I liked it, I think it was uh, a seven. Pretty normal, but it was really good too. I'm going to eat all, all of those, of course, because they're candy. All right, now this one, there's the same thing, I think it's the same thing. It has just a different animal on it. It's a cool looking bird guy, so I'm just gonna try a piece of this one too, just to make sure it's not completely different or something. Okay, yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, up next we have Tortica Chadra. Hopefully it's very interesting. Oh, ooh, that looks pretty good. Okay, so yeah, it looks exactly like the packaging. Got that milk and chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite. Whoa, whoa. All right, so this one. It was wafer on the top, vanilla cream and chocolate cream in the middle. I didn't taste much hazelnut, but apparently there is hazelnut in it. It's on the packaging. A nine as well. It's very good. All right, up next, we have this chocolate bar. This is the last bar. It looks pretty cool. It's the Boo Boo Loo Boo, as the cool kids are saying. I don't know how to feel about it. Looks like it has strawberry on the inside by that picture. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's round, looks interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna take a bite out of it. Okay. Hey. Okay, look at this. It's strawberry jelly on the top, marshmallow, and then chocolate around it. Whose idea was this? 
8.5, it's amazing. All right now, friends, I am sorry to say, but this is the very last thing that I will be trying. There's nothing left in here. There's just a bunch of little candies. And it is called Bubbaloo Frace Act. Yay! So, I'm guessing it's bubblegum. No idea what's going on with it. Just gonna open her up. Oh, okay, okay, it's a, like a little red capsule. Oh, and if the picture is what I think it means, there's gonna be stuff inside of the bubblegum. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was right. Oh man, that was good. I still have the gum in my mouth, but the insides are gone. So yes, I was right. It's like a gusher, but it tastes really good. And it's, it's, it's a, a gum. All right, now, to be honest, when I first got this box, I thought, yeah, that's pretty small, don't you think? And now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, it's like the Oval Lifetime. It's like the best thing I've ever bought. Great quality, great. Because there's so much stuff in there. It's, it's like a, this tiny little box, and then it's com completely full. It's amazing. Overall, I'm going to rate this box a nine. That's how tasty it was. All right, friends, I think that about wraps up our time here. Thank you friends for watching and if you enjoyed then please peck that like button. I shall see you very soon. I have six months worth of these. This is the first one so I have five months left and more videos are coming very very soon so stay tuned. Alright friends, stay cool. Ah my, ah my butt. Hi, I'm what Skinham's been sitting on the whole time he's been doing this YouTube video. No, no, no.